The salvage gameplay in 323 patch of Star Citizen is not dead and it's still a viable and decent way to make money, contrary to the popular belief and in this video we will be proving it. The long-awaited 3.23 patch for Star Citizen has dropped and with it many changes that affect economy, balance and gameplay. With this raised ship prices, rebalanced contract costs, changed RMC and construction component prices, many players are complaining that being a salvager is no longer viable and profitable enough to keep doing in post-323 Star Citizen. In this video I will be performing a head-to-head -head comparison for a particular con salvage contract, Aegis Avenger Titan, comparing the 3.22 footage I took before the patch dropped with the 3.23.0 live for a few days after the patch dropped. Then we will compare the costs, the profits and overall learning potential and then after I will show you how salvage can be profitable and a viable gameplay loop if you choose to pursue it regardless. So if that sounds good to you, grab a drink and let's get into it. Before we continue, if you're just considering getting into Star Citizen, there is a free fly going on, so you can try Star Citizen for free and determine if the game is for you. And should you choose to create an account on the RSI website, feel free to use my referral code as shown on the screen as it will provide you with a little bit of extra benefits, typically an additional 5000 AUEC at no additional cost. And you can only use it during account creation and not later. Okay, so. Going into the comparison, the 3.22 footage was taken a few days before the 3.23 patch dropped and here is the breakdown. Both times I was using an Aegis Avenger Titan around Crusader contract, but in the 3.22 the contract costed 5000 AUEC, while in the 3.23 costed 20000 AUEC. Both times I was able to salvage a total of 3 RMC crates and 2 construction material crates. And also in the 1 3.23 when I looked into the cargo of Titan I actually found one additional SU of gold for an extra 7.2 AUEC payout. So in prices in 3.23 for the recycled salvage have been changed as follows and I'm using the information from Orison Trade Division Department and also the in-game part. So the RMC price went up from 13.5k per AUE uh, to 14.5k AUEC per SEU box for a total rise of 6.7% while the construction material price plummeted from 6,000 to 1.5 thousand per SEU, a drop of 75%. So if we were to calculate our profits in 3.22, we had a sale of approximately 52,500 AUEC worth of materials, and when deducting the 5,000 for the contract cost, we landed a profit of 47.5 thousand for an Aegis Avenger Titan salvage contract. In the 3.23, we had a sale of 46.2 worth of materials due to the lower prices of the construction materials. And when deducting the, an extra 20k for a contract cost, we land at a profit of 26.2 for a Titan and a total of 33,000 if you count that I have found one SU of gold in the cargo. Before I get to the point, I would kindly ask you to boop the like button if you found this video helpful and informative thus far, so it can spread to more people. Thank you. That brings us to the conclusion that if you really want to do lawful contracts for salvaging, you will not be making a lot of money. And if you only look there, in that case, salvage is truly dead. Now I hear you asking with a confused look, well, Groundforks, you said it's not dead, now you're saying it's dead. Make your own damn mind, allow me to explain. Salvaging is dead if you look only at legal contracts, but there is another salvage game loop that still works and it still ne nets you a decent chunk of money. I'm talking of course about salvaging panels. They are a little bit more difficult to find, however it can net you a decent loot. Let's look at the benefits. They cost nothing but time, so there, there is no upfront cost. Second, they are pure RMC, which is actually high value. And three, they can be farmed and they're usually closely packed. The downsides are that they are sometimes bugged and sometimes tough to spawn if you need to wait for them a little bit and if you're all on location. So you can bump into them without knowing. 
So if we put the panels for a comparison, during the approximately 20 minutes I was able to scrape almost a full buffer. As you can see in the footage that netted me approximately 175,000 AUEC. Not bad for honest day's work, right? Furthermore, if you choose to fully stuff the Vulture, we are looking because in the Vulture it can still you can stack approximately 20 SU plus 13. Here we're looking here at approximately profits of 400,000 AUEC cargo hole with zero upfront costs. So what did we learn today? We have learned that salvage contracts have indeed been nerfed in 3.23 to the point of being irrelevant and it, that it's worth checking cargo trunk if you still want to engage in the salvage. We have also learned that the most profitable salvage gameplay is finding the ships at Yella or Lagrange's points but if they can be plagued by the spawns, delays, bugs, but when it comes to your yield, they can yield you a decent profit given the no upfront costs. Hope you liked the today's video and if you like, do make sure that you press that like button and I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Grumforks signing off.